Hugh Martins. Must have been five years ago. But I still remember it as if it were only yesterday. My last mission as Lieutenant of the Military Services for International Control. If it wasn't for Hugh, I wouldn't be here today. It's time to repay the debt. Q. Joshua, it's been a long time. Too long. What's the score? Always straight to the point. Okay. Terrorists have targeted the Genesis cryogenetic enterprise. Up to now, we haven't been able to stop them. So, where do I come in? I figured you could succeed where others have failed. My position as city governor is at risk. Genesis was my major supporter at the last election. And if I don't get results soon, I'll be history. Okay, so why these attacks on Genesis? Who knows? There seems no apparent motive. But I think they're attacking Genesis to get at me. Yeah, you've made some dangerous enemies. Comes with the territory. Anyway, we infiltrated the terrorists. My top officer, Simon Ruby, went in. His cover as a journalist seems secure, but... What went wrong? It's not clear. We've had no contact with him since yesterday, and that's not Simon's style. You think they got to him? We don't know. I hope not. We found these in his car. Traveling light? That's all we have. Joshua, I'd like you to start at his apartment. See what else you can find. Let's assume I find these terrorists. What then? We'll give you a new identity. I'll add your name to the police database. Your cover will be a guy from New Orleans working in the field of integrated security systems. This guy stole some documents from Genesis. With this cover, you should be able to infiltrate the group. Good. What should I do if I get to them? Do nothing. Lie low and let me know where you are. At that point, you'll need serious backup. Take this. Use it to contact me when the time is right. Okay, Hugh. I'll do my best after all. I owe you one. Later. Latest model C5, nice and sleek. Video I haven't time to take it for a spin. Cool. Nice balance. Piece of foil paper. Probably from cigarettes or gum that some louse dropped. My credits, all in tens. It's the two-way audio-visual device that Hugh gave me. It's one of Ruby's cards that Hugh gave me. It's a piece of aluminum foil from some cigarettes or gum. Fairly standard model. I much prefer the other. Too heavy. There's nothing very special about it. Leads inside the building. It's the tenancy regulations. It's used to call the elevator. Damn, it's not working. 
Damn. I overdid it. Hmm. The fuse is blown. The wire between the contacts is burnt out. Okay, done. This should do the trick. Hmm, a map of the structure. There are eight floors of apartments and the subway entrance in the basement. It's the fire door, probably from the emergency staircase. It's no use. It's locked from the other side. Okay. The security system requires a card. Q gave me rubies. Which more, Mr. Ruby? Great. It thinks I'm Ruby. To my apartment. Very handy. Five credits for a Swiller light beer. Pity it doesn't sell Septemberfest, my favorite. Says 17 S. Ruby. Okay, this has to be his place. Perhaps if I used it correctly, it might work. Yet more security. It's a magnetic reader used to open the door to the apartment. Up to the roof. Hmm. 17. This letterbox has the same number as Ruby's apartment. It's one of Ruby's letters returned to sender. It's got a signature on too. My apartment. Nice tank with loads of tropical fish. Nice to meet at least some intelligent life in Union. It's fairly old, but it looks like it's still working. There are no messages on it. Small, compact, and covered in dust. Ruby obviously didn't watch much TV. There's something scribbled on here. It might be something important. Hmm. It says Rotmal, 17, 11.55 p.m. I'll take the vodka. Seems a shame to leave it. 
It's a photo of Ruby with an attractive brunette. I've no idea who she is, but if it's not a relative, he's a lucky guy. Hmm, it's a subway card. Not much bigger than a camp bed. If I was tired, I think I'd prefer the sofa. It's an empty glass, but it's obviously been used recently. I'm no fashion guru, and neither was Ruby. Ruby was certainly cautious. There's a safe hidden here. It's locked. Socks, vests, boxer shorts, the usual stuff, nothing interesting. The roller shutter is down. There's a piece of sticky tape near the top of the shutter. Cool, a small key was hidden under the tape. revolver and a tube containing some kind of liquid. It's the copy of a report that Ruby sent Hugh yesterday morning. Thanks to his cover as a journalist, he's managed to make contact with the suspects. But as yet, he hasn't discovered anything more. He's sure he's found the right people. Ruby thinks that there's much more to this than basic terrorism. The suspects seem to be controlled by some greater power. It isn't clear where their HQ is, but it sounds like some deserted underground tunnel. Shame he went missing before he could find out more. There's a forensic report on the liquid in the tube, and it appears to be a powerful synthesized acid, probably the same one used to corrode the lab's metal locks during the last terrorist attack. Ruby was due to meet them at 11.30 last night, but it doesn't say where. He also mentions a wristwatch fitted with a hidden microphone, which he'd surely have used if he'd gotten into their base. Something here doesn't quite add up. Hugh's got to give me more information. About 60 centimeters of steel. I'm sure this will be useful. Much more, Mr. Ruby. To the 
subway. It looks like he's guarding the escalator. Hey! You can't get out that way! There's a bomb alert! A suspect device has been found near the station exit. Until the anti-terrorist police give the all clear, they've made it a no-go area. Is it a terrorist attack? What do I look like? Some kind of new service? Beat it! Hmm. One station is Rot Mile 17 mentioned on Ruby's note. Perhaps I should check it out. It's the machine used to obtain a subway ticket. Welcome to Union Metro. Please state your destination. Rot Mile 17. Rot Mile 17 confirmed. Please insert five credits. Payment confirmed. Please place your thumb on the scanner. Thank you. Subway access expires at midnight. For access to the platforms, place your thumb on the scanners located by the access gates. Union Metro wishes you a pleasant journey. Typical subway graffiti. Cool, but not award-winning. There are some numbers stamped on this ripped piece of plastic. He must be crazy playing with that old skate all day. A public fax. Looks in working order even though some jerk has ripped off the identification plate. <coughs> it matches perfectly. The ID number for this fax is PK64768. Have you seen this man recently? Jeez, so many faces, I can't remember them all. I got trouble remembering anything when I'm sober. If you get my drift. Hey pal, Christmas has come early. Thanks. Maybe I can help you out. Ah, I feel better already. What about that photo you talked about? Oh, yeah. I saw this guy last night. He left the station with a woman, but not the one in the photo. Any idea who she was? Hey, I can't remember anything right now. Need to get some sleep. Leave me alone. Still thirsty? How about this? You just saved my life, buddy. If there's anything I can do for you, just name it. Any idea who she was? Ain't got a clue what she's called. But I do know she runs a club, the Free Climax. Okay, thanks for the information. Listen, bud, I'm kind of low on funds right now. I ain't got much to sell, but you can have my skate for ten. Come on, bud, help me out here. It's a snip. Today is your lucky day, pal. Here's ten credits. Thanks, buddy. I'll put this to good use.
time to waste watching that trash. It's the entrance into the joint. Jesus, he's big. Better not ruffle his feathers. Is this the way in? Sorry, sir. It's members only. No way I can get in? Are you kidding? No card, no entry. Thanks for nothing. I'd better drop it. There's no way I'm getting in without a membership card. Mildred, I refuse to argue anymore. It's completely but stupid. But Jacob, please. Enough already. There's nothing down there. But I heard them, Jacob. Rats. Rats, I tell you. I don't want to go down there again, especially on my own. There are no rats, Mildred. I was down there myself only ten minutes ago. We've had the rat catchers out three times now, and they couldn't find any. Now, please, go down and bring me what I've asked you for. But, Jacob, I... But, Jacob, nothing. What am I supposed to tell Miss Thompson? That uh, new cocktail isn't ready because of some invisible rats? Don't you realize how stupid this will make me look? I can't let Miss Thompson down. For the last time, please bring me what I've asked you for. Look, Jacob, you'll be responsible if anything happens yes, to me. Yes, yes. All right, Mildred. Whatever you say. Hmm, the benefits of being single. Mind if I take a look around? Please do, but uh, don't touch anything. I'm just preparing a very special cocktail for a very special customer. And if that's not enough, my wife is driving me crazy with stupid rat stories. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things to do. Excellent. It's a membership card for the free Climax joint. Cool store. I'd like to get something special for a friend. Anything you can recommend? We have a wide choice, but uh, I can't help you. It is uh, illegal to sell alcohol in this city after eight. So what are people supposed to do? Die of thirst? There are plenty of other places to get a drink. Why not take your friend to the free climax? It's right outside. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got things to do. What cocktail are you making? It looks lethal. It is. It's for the owner of the Free Climax Club. Special order. Do you know the owner of the Free Climax? Of course. Eva Thompson. She's one of my most important customers. What's her club like? It's very exclusive. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got things to do. I notice you have a membership card for the Free Climax Club. Wanna sell it? Are you crazy? It's a lifetime membership! <laughs> and it cost me a fortune! It's just a shame that I never get the chance to use it! That's a pity. I'd really like to get in there. You sure you don't want to sell it? No! Now, as you can see, I've got a lot to do and I don't have time to argue. But perhaps, if you bring me a bottle of magnificent Chateau Lafitte 85, then I might consider a swap for the car. I need to get the padlock off. I can't force it, it's too strong. Okay, that's done it. But I used the last of the acid.
There's a small staircase going down under the liquor store. These bottles sure are dusty. No, I can't risk it. Better retreat to the alley before she spots me. leads down into the dark. Just a dimly lit service lamp. It's a dead rat. Looks sort of fresh. Disgusting. I have an idea it might actually be useful. At least no one can see me doing this. I can see the Rotmile 17 platforms down below. Always me having to come down here. Get your skates on, rat. <laughs> Jeez, it worked. Chateau Lafitte 85. Incredible that a bottle of this still exists to this day. It's you again. Look around if you want to, but uh, don't disturb me. I've got a lot to do. Don't believe it. Chateau Lafitte 85. Of course. Where on earth did you manage to find it in this city? That's my business. 
Now, the membership card? Amazing! I really thought that I had the only bottle in Union, but my world is my bond. The card is yours. Thanks. See you around. Card. Satisfied? Yeah, we're not open yet, but I don't suppose there's any harm in going in now. Hey, we're not open yet. You shouldn't be in here. I'm looking for a friend of mine. The club fills up around midnight. Maybe you'll find him then. Anyway, who are you? Now's the time to see if Hugh's cover works. Joshua Reeve. Well, Mr. Reeve, how come I haven't seen you before? I just got into town. Business or pleasure? Business. Integrated security systems. I'll spare you the details. What's the name of this friend you're looking for? Ruby. Simon Ruby. Mean anything to you? No, nothing. She's lying. You sure? Sure. Never heard of him. Well, you seem a little edgy. The way you're playing with your necklace. What is it? The religious icon? This? Oh no, not at all. It's just a keepsake. A keepsake? It's a memento of the inauguration of the Union Zoo. My father worked there when I was a child. It reminds me of happier days. Any chance of a tour of the zoo? Maybe I can mix business with pleasure. Sorry, the zoo was never a great success. It was shut down some time ago. The way into it was along the old subway line. When it fell into disuse, the zoo followed the same fate. Look, I've wasted enough time already. I've got things to attend to before the club opens. You sure you haven't seen Simon Ruby? Look, I told you, I can't help you. Okay, but perhaps you know someone who can. Like who? That's just the problem. I don't know who they are. Simon told me he was meeting some people yesterday, but he didn't say who. I've not heard from him since. I'm sure they could help. Help you in what way? Here goes. Make or break time. I think the people he was meeting are connected to the group or are attacking Genesis. And if so, I'd like a piece of the action. I have my own score to settle with Genesis. Look, I don't know who you are, or your friend, Mr. Ruby. I can't help you. But a word of warning, Mr. Reeve. Don't get involved. This Genesis situation is bigger than you think. Hmm. I'll drop by later. But if you see Simon Ruby in the meantime, mention my name. Very well, Mr. Reeve. I'll ask around. But don't expect too much. Thanks. Cool. I think she'll check me out. This must be Eva Thompson, the woman that the bum saw with Ruby last night. He never mentioned she was quite a doll. Nice photography. closed everything here. I can't use the subway anymore. Joshua, are you alone? Yeah, Hugh, I need your help. What can I do? I've made contact with Eva Thompson. She runs a joint called the Free Climax. Free Climax? Where is it? South Central, near Rot Mall 17 subway station. A reason to believe that she was with Ruby yesterday, and she's involved somehow. Start, Joshua. Maybe it's the lead we've been looking for. She's denied knowing Ruby, but she's lying, of course. I'm sure she's checking me out right now. I used my cover to persuade her to put me in touch with the terrorists. And I think something's about to happen. It's just a matter of time. Good. Can I do anything to help you in the meantime? 
Everything seems to point to the subway. Ruby's stuff mentioned a deserted tunnel and Eva spoke of a deserted zoo. I have an idea that maybe that's where I should be. Can you send me a map of the subway system? No problem. Have you got a fax number I can use? Q, try PK64768. Okay, give me a few seconds. Right, it's on its way. Thanks. No problem, Joshua. Be careful out there. It seems that near here there's an old passageway that leads to the deserted zoo. Now I must find a way to reach it. According to the map, the zoo should be along the passageway, but I need to find a way to get over to the opposite side. It leads to a maintenance room of sorts. Unfortunately, the padlock is too strong to break. a screwdriver and a socket spanner. It's a metal logo on the advertisement board. It's a solid looking letter S. It's a long metal chain. Now the chain has a makeshift hook. According to the map, this is the passageway that leads to the zoo. Hmm, it's a concealed control panel.
Let's fry this sucker. Damn, the roof has collapsed. I need to get to the other platform to get to the zoo. was obviously ruined when the ceiling collapsed. It's an old loudspeaker, one of the electromagnetic kind. It's still lit up but doesn't appear to be working. Not surprising after all this time. The embankment stops just beyond these barriers. steel and firmly attached to the ceiling. I wonder what happened to all the animals. It's dusty and covered with dirt, but there's nothing interesting through it. They even thought to decorate the TV in the start of the room. I might have known there'd be a cactus somewhere in this place. The zoo was really up on technology. This terminal must have been the source of useful info about the place. Probably about the worst looking drapes I've ever seen. Behind the curtain. It contains some sort of flammable gas. It says to keep it away from bright light and heat. Potentially very dangerous. Oil, all congealed, long past its use-by date. It's empty. 
It's not my day. The magnetic field is to prevent visitors from getting onto the exhibit. It's a warning light for the magnetic field. The field is activated. It's no use. It's reinforced. It's flashing. The electromagnetic barrier is on. Shame. This mechanical creature is out of action. The amazing Sphinx of Giza. An imposing mystical statue. Welcome to Union Zoo's Egyptology Exhibition. This magnificent structure is a reconstruction of the mystical Sphinx of Giza, situated in Cairo's archaeological area. As well as this magnificent structure, at the original site, one can also visit the incredible pyramids of Cheops, Tepra, and... Warning. Technical malfunction in command file. Replace damaged file. Control room access code follows. Use graphic wheels according to standard procedure. Today's code. Under the supreme eye of the father of the gods sits the solar protector of all men. To the right of he who delights in the eternal becoming of his being. Well, at least there appears to be a control room somewhere. I just need to crack the access code. I know this. It's the Egyptian god Anubis. There are three wheels at the base of the statue. The button must be pressed after forming a combination of the symbols. hanging over the platform. Okay, the bar is magnetized. I forgot to turn this to open the door, but it seems seized up. I haven't got much. I'd better not waste it.
The can is empty now. To open the door. To open the... The light switch. Doesn't look like the bulb is working. The filament is wasted. The bulb is trash. There's a hidden passageway down here. Shut tight, but I can see another passageway beyond it. Hey, there's another passageway behind here. Interesting. This section has books on Egyptology and Egyptian gods. This looks very interesting. It's a book about ancient Egyptology and Egyptian gods in particular. It's a book... This section is on snakes. I hate snakes. This section... Interesting. No, I've already got one that's useful. It's a book about it. reading light. I've taken the bulb. This was probably the cash desk. Your choice, buddy. Very nice. I've always wanted one like that. A map of the world. Pity it's not a map of the zoo. I hate snakes. Another extinct species. Pity they're extinct. Too many rich people wanted coats, I guess. Pretty convincing, but probably plastic all the same. Very odd. A well inside the store itself. universal types. It adapts most plugs to most sockets.
It's no use. It's reinforced. Well, nothing happened. I got that combination correct. It's a microwave gun. It's almost out of charge. The color of the button changed. I can see the goddess Kali on the monitor screen. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Hmm. 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 Color of the button has changed. Hmm. Color of the button has changed. Creaky rope bridge. Damn, mechanical or 
or not, that's a pretty good deterrent. Okay, I wasted the critter, but I used all the charge in the gun. This must be where they made and repaired the exhibits. No use to me. Luckily for me, they hadn't finished making this dinosaur. Bits of synthetic dinosaur skin. Very convincing. It could burn brightly. Artificial plants, plastic as you'd expect. There's a faucet hidden behind here. made of brass. Nah. It's an empty beer can. A small pool of fuel is welled inside. I'd better not drink it. Hard to read what it says. The text is aged and is barely legible. Hey, there's a young kid up there. I gotta get up and talk to him. Looks like this heap of crap ran on oil. It's a control panel for the machine. I hope I didn't waste the kid. I'd better be careful with it.
Okay, done. It's a small empty tin can. The can is full of fuel. Okay, I've poured all the fuel into the tank. Minicom is busted. It's just spitting sparks now. Amazing. It was completely hidden before. He's out cold, nothing serious. He had a remote control on him, I'll take that. It's full of electrical components. Pity the minicom got busted. I must be near the terrorist space. This must be the controls for those large mechanical pincers. Hmm, there's a label on the crate. King of jokes. I found a set of telescopic pincers. It looks like there's something else in here. Cool, a hologram projector. Looks very powerful. I think 
think it's the controls for the trap door. This must lead out onto the roof. Damn! It's automatic. It's closed again. doesn't appear very secure. Looks like a maintenance building. It's solid and barred. I've no idea why anyone would want to break in though. Temperatures and generator checks. Nothing of real interest. A big crumbling machine. It's obviously seen better days. The window is barred. This contains oxygen. This contains hydrogen. A faucet used to regulate and mix the gases. is off. No point. The Twist the pipe. to the cylinder.
Don't know what's the matter with the freaking thing. Okay, gotcha. Seems fine now. Morgan had better not be fiddling with me. Interesting. There's a secret passageway in the warehouse. Someone might need a light. The workman forgot to close it. Flicking the switch an electrical current will go to the panel. I'd better not touch it. I don't want to attract attention. There's nothing more. Now I've got a ready to use torch. That's not a great idea. That's not a great idea. I don't believe it. That freaking alarm again. You gotta admit, Jules. Your security system is your greatest triumph. Quit the wisecracks, Morgan. I'm not in the mood. Your stupid games are beginning to tire me. I know this is your doing. Another of your pathetic jokes. So go and switch it off. Look, it's not me. Now, ah, whatever. But as soon as I've turned it off, I'm going down to the zoo. I'd rather spend some time with Dave. At least he hasn't got a stupid chip on his shoulder. He's out cold. He didn't have anything interesting on him. power socket. Okay, done.
Okay, done. Another of that wise ass Morgan's jokes. I've had it. I'll disconnect the projector and go and teach that geek a lesson. He's out cold. Should give me enough time to do what I have to. Well, well, a laser gun and a small key. running some sort of programming software. Nah, I've no time for that. A local rag from a few days ago. It must form some part of the security system, although it hasn't been very effective. There's an email open on the screen. It's from a few days ago. Hmm. The computer is still on. There's an open email on the screen. It's a report by some Marcus Sanders concerning a guy called Vizel Moreau. Sanders states he's verified without a doubt that Moreau and Genesis have been linked through the intervention of Martins, for whom Moreau has created a virtual environment. Marcus also states that he's discovered that Moreau's built his own hideout in a private virtual environment which looks like a dark, grotesque, horror amusement park. Marcus came across facts which would seem to indicate that Moreau and Genesis were in it together, working on virtual sensory technology, known as the VST Project. VST Project? Never heard of it. Hmm. Marcus maintains that the project in question is the work of Moreau, who had to turn to Genesis to fund the project or else cease his experiments. It appears that Marcus lost track of Moreau who hasn't been found for weeks. Marcus is convinced that it's imperative to shed light on Martins' involvement in all this, and in finding Martins is his guess that Moreau would be nearby. But just how the hell does Hugh figure in all this? There's been no talk about this Moreau guy or any VST project. I wonder if Hugh's been straight with me. It won't open. Now I have a security card. Strange place to find a piece of art. Hmm. A piece of paper with some odd stuff on it.
It's one of the security system's push buttons. Solid. Possibly armor plated. Hmm. Standard surgical couch. They always make me feel nervous. Hmm, it's a monitoring panel. Jesus, Ruby. Gunned down like street filth. Hugh was right to think he'd been taken out. I guess this means my own cover is blown. I'll need to give my skates on or I'll be in the next bed to Ruby. He's at death's door. The bastard shot him. Stethoscope, syringe, might come in useful. Wait a minute, what's this? It's a medical report on Ruby. Jesus, he isn't dead. He's alive. What the hell have they been doing to him? Two hours following the trauma, his condition deteriorated. And he slipped into a deep, irreversible coma, a vegetative state. Damn. They extracted a bullet from his left lung, but the extent of the damage is meant... 45% loss of respiratory capacity. His cardiovascular system is severely damaged too. They've been monitoring him since the shooting. He doesn't look good. I don't understand. The terrorists shot him. Why the hell are they trying to save him? A brilliant device for amplifying low volume audio. going to the dogs. Yesterday's encounter has brought us to our knees, and this place is anything but safe. I'll be prepared to surrender, Al. Hey, wait a minute. That's Eva Thompson's voice. The broad from the Free Climax joint. If we can just get a hold of those documents... I'd like to know how Martin's henchmen managed to find us. Forget that now. We must continue on from where Sanders left off. Looking for something in that damned cyber park. Our numbers are diminishing, and after what happened to Sanders, no one's keen to volunteer to go in there. If only that guy who contacted you at the club hadn't disappeared. You should have tried to persuade him to help us out. I couldn't work out what his purpose was. He was quite vague. Besides, I only spoke to him for a few minutes. When I left the club, I called the bouncer and asked him to shadow him. He had already disappeared. Good. They're looking for me. My cover's still intact. It almost seems as though they're the victims, not the cause. Hugh also neglected to tell me about this or any attack on the terrorist base. Looks like I've got no option. Let's hope Lady Luck's on my side. Hey, hold it right there. Twitching your dead meat, punk. Al, relax. Put the gun down. It's the guy from my club, the one I told you about. Hey, easy. I hope I haven't interrupted anything. How'd you find us? And how did you get in? Jules and Morgan should have stopped you. Let's just say they became genuinely alarmed, and besides, I didn't know you'd be here. What are you doing here? 
Eva told me all about you. Perhaps what Eva didn't tell you is that I'm looking for an old friend. But from what I've just seen, it seems I've arrived a little late. I'm sorry about Simon, Joshua, but he wasn't the only one. Stow the apologies, Eva. I want to know what our friend's intentions are. Nothing much to say. Genesis has been after my ass for months now, and I'm tired of running. We should give him a chance, Al. We need all the help we can get after the attack. Look, I don't know you from squad, and I like you even less. But Eva is seldom wrong about people. I trust her judgment. We need friends right now, but I'm watching your every move. We've spent too long, worked too hard to risk blowing this now. Sure, we're after the same thing. We're in the same boat. There's a friend of mine half dead back there. How about explaining that for starters? Look, Ruby was assigned to investigate us by his newspaper and, by a stroke of luck, he managed to find us. It was vital for us to have a link with the media so we could expose Genesis. But yesterday's attack screwed everything up. What attack was this? Our main HQ was hit last night and all our equipment was wasted. It's put us back months. Not to mention losing some good friends dedicated to the cause. Three of our best men lost their lives. Simon's at death's door. And Marcus Sanders, our cyberspace expert, the guy who got us most of our leads, died during transition. If your main base was destroyed, where are we now? This is Morgan's warehouse. We only use it in case of emergency. Which is a relief. I hate the place. Any clue who attacked you yesterday? Probably Martin's men. The results were devastating. Ruby was with us when they burst in, and he took a bullet that was meant for me. We fled in order to salvage what we could. We thought Ruby might make it, so we brought him here. A medical friend of ours tried to save him, but his condition is worsening. Who was Marcus Sanders? Marcus was with us right from the start. He was investigating Moreau and his VST project. But he was killed while he was connected to cyberspace. Who was Moreau? He's an architect of virtual environments developed in cyberspace. From what we've discovered, Martins was one of his first customers. And probably he was the catalyst between Genesis and Moreau. Vassal Moreau would seem to be the creator of the VST project. Which is why he was looking for backers. And he found them in Genesis, right? Yes, but what happened afterwards is a mystery. Some weeks ago, a charred, unidentifiable body was found on the beach in Costa Rica. Moreau, who used to stay at a residence in the vicinity, had disappeared the evening before. The police concluded after no further missing persons report that the body had to be Moreau. You must realize that we are not a terrorist group. We are researchers. We were studying the effects of cyberspace on the human mind and Marcus Sanders, one of our top researchers, by chance found himself in a bizarre location. A virtual amusement park in a horror setting created by the twisted mind of Moreau. Sanders discovered something there about a mysterious project by the name of VST. From that moment on, strange things began to happen to us. The police refused to investigate. They denied everything. So we decided to begin defending ourselves. And we founded our little organization to investigate Genesis. When we discovered that Genesis had taken over all Moreau's patents after his disappearance, we knew that what we had discovered about VST was much more serious than we had first thought. And so were our mysterious attackers. We had stumbled into something big, really big. Marcus connected to cyberspace to get a hold of more information on the VST project. But alas, how much he saw we'll never know. He was hit while he was still connected, and as he died, he began to make strange gestures. 
It seemed as if he were writing. I was very near him and I heard him say, the mirror, the mirror isn't reflective. We have no idea what this means. We haven't enough to nail Genesis yet, and only Moreau and his cyberspace expertise could have given us real proof. Have any of you visited Moreau's amusement park? No. Only Sanders had that particular pleasure. Why do you think Martins is involved? Because of his links with Genesis, who sponsored him in the last elections. And besides that, Moreau was a close personal friend of his. In addition, the police closed the file on Sanders' death. It was obvious that there was some kind of cover-up in operation. Someone was turning the screw. Because of this, we needed Simon Ruby's support. He had evidence stolen from Genesis that we could have used to blow the whole thing wide open. So much so, that the authorities couldn't just ignore the situation. People are being rubbed out without a moment's hesitation. There's something evil and deadly about this VST project. What mirror was Sanders talking about? We don't know. But he was visiting that absurd virtual horror park. Damn, if they're telling the truth, Hugh owes me one hell of an explanation. So, okay, your position is clear. What now? We must follow the trail that Sanders left. We have no option but to reconnect with cyberspace and return to the amusement park. We were hoping that you'd be prepared to lend us a hand, Mr. Reeve. Hey, I need answers myself. Where do I start? I just gotta get Martins' angle on this story. Jesus, I can't believe Hugh has lied to me. Good. Come this way, Mr. Reeve. It's your turn now. This is incredible. The hacker's favorite interface for cyberspace travel. By using this button, I can save the coordinates of my current position. No point. I've already saved this position. Hmm. Winning combinations are... One skull, half a credit. Two skulls, three credits. Three skulls, fifty credits.
steady stream of lava is flowing from the demon's mouth. There's tremendous heat from the lava pool. get out of here, that could well be me. It's a thick cloth. Excuse me? what it's doing here. It's an old silver half-credit coin. cable car that goes to the castle. It's one of those show your strength machines. It's used to strike the drum and send the weight up to ring the bell. Any harder and I'd knock the bell off. Half a credit to play. That 
that would be a waste. Okay, now I can have a shot. Lady Luck must be smiling down on me today. to open and close the boiler pipe. The spider has escaped. It's very slimy and sticky. like saltpeter. but is protected by a thick plate of glass. This ought to slow down the targets. Okay, big shot. That was a cinch. I better collect my prize. the bizarre remote control puppet that I want on the shooting range. I guess this is where they issue tickets to go up to the castle. Okay, I've got the packet.
Here's hoping it stays put. wooden barrels. It doesn't look like a wishing well. Nothing important. Looks like it's been painted with human blood. A heavy brass container. I'm getting dirty. It's from a human and there's a hole in the cranium. I have no intention of reciting Hamlet. An old torch on its support. I had to break it off to get it. Geez, it's a long way down. It refers to the mirror on the wall. It says that the mirror is enveloped by the mists of the waters of the sticks. Hmm, perhaps I shouldn't have put the boiler out. It's an old parchment, I can barely make out what it says. It describes how to make gunpowder with saltpeter, charcoal and sulfur. Nothing interesting here. Nothing interest. Nothing in. An old shelf. Nothing interest. It's a jar of sulfur. Okay, I've got it. It's a small bag with papaverine written on it. Okay, I've got it. I think it's a sleeping drug you get from plants. It's a book about lycanthropy. In the folklore section, it says that the way to kill a werewolf is with a silver bullet. It also says that werewolf's blood will corrode metal. Weird. It's a finely sculptured metal object. A massive bronze container. It's just under the vessel. Good. I've stopped the jet of water. I don't think you'll get a migraine.
There are numbers written on the mirror. Seven, eight, four, five. It's an old lunar sundial. It's not working. The central shaft is missing. Script. Perhaps my investigation ends here. Jeez, it's packed full of incomprehensible formulae. Hang on, there's something written here. Moreau! Damn, this is Vizel Moreau's diary. It says that the VST project is almost completed. That all it needs is the final checks and he could become the most famous scientist in the world. That his discovery will revolutionize our society forever. Wait though. It goes on. Unfortunately, it appears that the whole process is fundamentally flawed. It seems from new calculations that the degeneration of brain cells caused by VST would be irreversible and fatal within a few months, if not weeks. Moreau now maintains that VST cannot at present be applied to human beings. It's too dangerous. Moreau estimates that it would take at least another two years research and massive investment to make the process safe and finalize the project. Alas, this is beyond his reach. With his dream fading and somewhat dejected, he finds himself having to cease his experiments. Hmm, other formulae and notes on breakthroughs. There are notes here about Q. And Moreau seems ecstatic. It looks as though Q has put him in contact with a huge conglomerate which is prepared to finance his research, enabling further work on the project. Moreau eventually resumed his work. Genesis Cryogenetics Enterprise putting immense finance and resources at his disposal. Whilst Moreau wasn't completely clear about their commercial objectives, Genesis placed great faith in his work and Moreau responded, happy that he could continue. Here, Hugh Martins is named as a major backer in the project that VST was saved by Martins. Now Moreau only has to contend with the research times, which he hopes to reduce, thus delivering working technology much sooner than had been hoped. Pages and pages of feverish scribblings. Moreau's tone seems somewhat terrified at the end. He says they're all mad, that they're testing the project on humans now and have been for some time. It just isn't ready. They're using a prison island called Rocas Perdida as a research institute. It's off the coast of Mexico and the prisoners are the guinea pigs. It's sick and insane. They must be stopped. Moreau has tried to rebel, but Martins has refused to listen to reason. The financial potential of the technology is too great. Moreau is sure his life is in danger. He says here that there's nothing he can do but try to escape and alert the authorities. He's left this diary in the hope that someone will find it if his escape bid fails. Jesus, I can't believe it. Hugh is a murderer and he's out of control. That bastard has betrayed me. But why did he ask for my help? There's a kind of journal. The address of Hugh's virtual office is underlined. It's risky, but it's the only lead I have to what's happening. I'll use the positioner. Hello, sir. Have you got an appointment? I need to see Hugh immediately. Please let him know I've arrived. Your name, please. Mr. Martins isn't expecting any visitors. Reeve. Joshua Reeve. I'm a personal friend. Sorry, Mr. Reeve. But Mr. Martins is not in his office at the moment. However, 
Please sit down and make yourself at home while I try and find him. Very elegant, but I wonder what these six symbols represent. Not my thing. It's the cyberspace entrance to this office. It seems that Martins wasn't worried about cost when he created this office. Chocolates covered in cocoa powder. I'm not sure she's my idea of virtual perfection. Luckily enough, papaverine is the same color as cocoa. what this button is for. There's an old pirate's pistol and two bullets in there. Okay, I've got the pistol and bullets. slide projector. It works by inserting slides. A heavy suit of armor. It's a heavy club. Cool. No point. I've already saved this position. Looks a little bit like a metal bowl with a hollow in the center. Okay, it's floating. Lucky. The ball almost fell into the ravine. Okay, now I've got a silver bullet. Okay, done. Okay.
okay, done. There's little point in that. There's little point in that. Now I just need a bullet. Okay, done. Take that, Wolfman. <laughs> I kicked his virtual ass. Sorry, but there are too many werewolves in town. Damn, it stinks. The lid is airtight. Two slides beside the projector. Hmm, a strong metal lock. Jesus, it really burns. an art expert. Don't know who it could be. There's quite an incredible virtual vista outside. It looks like Hugh's handwriting. It's a memo. 3.30 p.m. Dentist appointment. There's just this one drawer in the whole desk. Okay, I only found a slide. I'm not sure what to do with it. Interesting, strange red signs in six blue boxes. I wonder what it means. Very elegant, but I wonder what these six symbols represent. Touch screen activated. Let's see what I can find on here. Ah, here we are. Some email between Martins and the head of Genesis. Martin says he's wiped one of the researchers belonging to the group who has discovered information about BST. To eliminate risk, Hugh also arranged for this guy's brother to suffer a similar fate. 
Jesus, this isn't the end, there's more. Let's look at another email. Martins is covering up another strategic elimination. But he fears the researchers have realized they're being tracked. And are attempting to organize some kind of resistance factor. Ha, huh. so Eva and Al were straight up. It is Martins all along. In another mail, Martins apologizes for the problems and financial loss that the rebels are causing Genesis. But assures that the trouble will be dealt with very shortly. Another mail mentions that Simon Ruby, one of his best agents, has managed to infiltrate them. And that before very long, the problem will be resolved once and for all. Ruby has succeeded in providing the coordinates for the secret base. The terrorists are done for. It's absurd. This is Martins' report on the Blitz on Al's base. The worm is complaining that some of the rebels got away. He says Simon lost his life in the attack as well, but he harbors no regret. After all, it's one witness less. Moreover, Martin seems satisfied he's managed to destroy most of their equipment and believes they no longer have a safe place from which to direct their plot against Genesis. As far as he's concerned, their defeat is only a matter of days away and their threat minimized. Damn, I'm mentioned in this one. That for safety's sake, he's contacted an agent with whom he worked in the services. A guy named Reeve. That I'd do as he asked because I'm convinced I owe my life to him. What? He says I'd lay my life down to repay the debt. But wonders how I'd react if I knew that saving my life was a fluke, a pure accident. If the plane I was flying hadn't been laden with drugs, he would have let me burn in hell. Drugs? The bastard, he's using me. Martins is apparently expecting a report from me at any time. He's sure to learn where the terrorists are hiding. Going on to say that he'll be at the Rockers Perdita all day tomorrow. He'll monitor the finalization of the experiments personally. Since that old fool Moreau is increasingly reluctant to carry on. Rockers Perdita. So that's where you're hiding. Moreau's diary. Good. What did it contain? Well, put it this way. All your suspicions were well founded. I've also found the address of Martins' virtual office. I've been investigating him as well. Also, I have reason to believe that Moreau is still alive. Martins is behind the murders which have decimated your group. And he's also heavily involved in the whole VST affair. Everything that's happened to date is part of his and Genesis' twisted plans. This nailed him forever. We've got him. Not quite, Eva. All I found are files in a virtual world. Martins and Genesis can still get away with it. We haven't enough proof yet. Joshua's right, Eva. We need better evidence. Well, the time has come to get that proof. People are paying for this VST madness with their lives. We have to get to the island base where Martins is hiding. Sorry, I doubted you, Reeve. What's our next move? We must get to the prison of Brocas Perdita off the coast of Mexico. That's where they're holding Professor Moreau and carrying out their barbaric experiments. Okay, Eva. You go with Joshua and prepare the shuttle for the trip. Meanwhile, I'll work on a map of the prison from our limited databases. We'll meet on board. It seems that the prison is subdivided into sections. One of these, C, could be reached by going through an old pipeline to the east of the island. Eva and I will try to get into section B. You try the pipeline into section C. Our way is blocked by a high-power security fence, which surrounds the prison complex. Once you've got in, you'll have to find a way of shutting it down. You'll need to use a parallel cutter. 
an instrument which simulates the voltage passing through the cable to which it's attached. It only works for a few seconds. But it's our only hope we'll need to keep in touch with these wrist comms. All clear? As a bell. I know we need to find Professor Moreau. But shouldn't we work out an escape plan in case something goes wrong? If anything goes wrong, there'll be no point in running. Just start shooting. transport I used to get here. There are tracks left by a turtle. The turtle's tracks head out towards the ocean. Hmm, it's laid some eggs. big, a good place for cover. Eat it, Buster. Jesus, I can't believe some of the stuff I have to do. shallow pond with a few rocks in it. The grating is locked with a strong padlock. I have to be careful not to slip. The conduit goes uphill and it's hard to grip. Damn, the laser charge is exhausted. It's now closed, but the slightest knock will open it again. Towels and sheets. It's a box of soap powder. The bucket is full of water. This machine is not in use. a huge industrial washing machine. A trolley full of dirty linen. The 
It was difficult enough climbing up the conduit when it was dry. Now it's wet and soapy. It'll be impossible. that noise? What the hell's going on? <laughs> the stupid guard left the keys in the door when he opened it. It's a note about guard shifts. According to this, there's just one guy on duty. From here I can see into the other room. The other room is empty. From here I can see into the other room. family album stuff. Must be the guards' wives. By opening it, I can just see into the cell. Jesus, who the hell are you? A worthless soul. I used to be a brilliant scientist. Now I'm shot. Worthless. Hey, wait a minute. Are you Vizel Moreau? Yes, and you are? Oh, it's a long story. But you only need to know that I'm here to get you out safely. Out? To where? There's only the ocean outside. The physical torture is bad enough. Please, don't start with mental torture. I know you people are trying to get me to break down, but I refuse to willingly join in with your sick games. You've got it wrong, Professor. My name is Reeve. I'm working with an organization that wants to blow Genesis and its sick plans into the open. I know something about the VST project, too. But not much at this stage. How come you know about all this? Your diary, Professor. I found it in the virtual amusement park. My diary? Very well. I'll do what I can to help. But I'm afraid I can't offer much. Some colleagues are waiting for me. To find a way through to Section B. Once we've regrouped, we'll be able to get you out. Oh, I'm touched by your resolve, but there's a fence with 100,000 volts running through it, completely surrounding the prison. It's absolutely impossible to get in, and even more so to get out. I agree that it's an interesting problem. Just cooperate and we'll get you out of here as soon as we can. How the hell can we get the keys to your cell door? The prison governor has them. He usually carries them with him. And when he doesn't, I presume he keeps them in his office in Section B. You can get to it by going through the door directly behind you. I believe that there's some sort of numeric code required to open it. Does the governor often visit your cell? Every morning. He takes me to the lab and waits until I've finished carrying out the experiments. Then he brings me back to the cell when I'm done. I'm never left alone, at least not for long. Who is the governor? I've no idea, but he's one sick puppy. His twisted mind takes pleasure from the horrific experiments I'm forced to carry out. The worse their pain, the more pleasure he gets. I've seen him writing weird stuff on the lab blackboard, too. Where's the laboratory? 
It's behind a security coded door in the guard room, opposite the laundry. Any clues about the security code? No, but each key on the pad makes a specific tone. The governor always opens it in my presence. I never actually see what he's doing. But I can hear the tones of the keypad clearly enough. And they obviously don't change it very often. I know the tone sequence by heart. Do you know the sequence for the door behind me? Sorry, I've never seen it or heard it be opened. Don't forget, Professor. Keep calm. That's easy for you to say. Al, can you hear me? Loud and clear. I found Vizel Moreau. Is he with you? No, I can't get him out of his cell without the keys. The plan to enter Section B is in tatters. There seems no way in. The security is too tight. What about that pipeline you used to get in? No use. I had to use it to give one of the guards the slip. The only way of getting the cell keys is by going through Sector B. Moreau says that the governor's office is around there and that the keys are there. Once we have them, we only have to open the door which separates Block C from B. One of the doors is coded, and we believe the governor's is too. Okay, we'll stick to the original plan. It's tricky, so be as quick as you can. Cool it. I'm going as fast as I can. Pictures of either the guards or the prisoners. Whichever. They're ugly, sons of bitches. It's a porno mag. These guards must get bored down here. It's the latest generation of audio video recorders. Okay, got it. Looks very comfortable. An empty bottle of bourbon, more's the pity. Very basic, not even a drawer. It's empty, and there's only rubbish in that big cardboard box up there. It's barred by a strong iron grill. It's impossible to get through. Nice babe. Kind of brightens things up around here. It's full of garbage. It controls the door. I need the right code for it. Cool. I've got the audio visuals of the key panel on film. Here, Professor. I managed to record the sounds of all the keys on the keypad on the security door. Yes, very good. Uh, let's listen to it once more. Four, four, six, six, seven, seven. Nice one, Professor. I'll check it out. Great. It worked. Thank God Moreau was alive. Jesus, these people are butchers. Latex surgical gloves. Jesus, I wonder what they contain. Probably something deadly. Okay, done. It's a sophisticated induction tool. It's 
sketched formulae and calculations. It's obviously ciphered math stuff. Hmm, a metal panel that's locked with two screws. Three identical cables in here. You hear me, Al? I hear you, Joshua. We've got a problem. Another? Great. I've managed to open the panel and there are three cables. We've got a problem. I'm not sure which is the correct one to cut. We have to be sure. We can't risk the parallel cutter. We've only got one. And if you mess up, me and Eva are toast. So what do you suggest? You simply have to find a way of identifying the right cable. We'll just sit tight until you're ready to proceed. Okay, I'll get back to you. Two hundred and twenty volts. Two hundred and twenty volts. One hundred thousand volts. Al, you receiving? Copy that, Joshua. What's new? Well, I'm ready to cut the current on the security fencing. Fantastic. We're ready. Just give us the all clear when it's down. Okay. Careful, though. You won't have long to get past the net. I'll only be able to take it down for a short while before they restore power. Fine. On your signal, we'll run for it. Okay. Now! Great. Anyone see you? There was a guard nearby, but we don't think he saw us. We're going inside the prison. All clear. We've crossed into the canteen and kitchen. We're into the corridor, which leads to Sector C. There's a sliding door right at the end. It must be the coded one you mentioned. Al, Moreau thinks the governor's office is around there somewhere. There are two doors, Joshua. We'll try the first door. Okay. We're inside the first room. It's empty. It's an office, but it's deserted. We're wasting time here. We'll try the other door. This has to be it, Joshua. There's no doubt. This is the governor's office. Great. Grab anything useful and get out quick. There's a satellite communication system here. Eva's found some kind of code and a set of keys. Well, well. To what do we owe the pleasure of your company? Martins, you murdering bastard. You won't get away with it. And who's going to stop me, you naive fool? You? No, Al! Martins, you bastard! Governor, call the guards. We're saving this place. No one else must enter or leave. Yes, sir. What about the woman? Lock her up, but place an armed guard outside. I'm not taking any risks. You got it. I'll take great pleasure in interrogating her later. But first, get on the SAT system and call for reinforcements from Genesis. As you wish, sir. Guard, remove that body from my office floor. Yes, sir. Keys are no use here. A very strong iron door.
There's an iron grill here. The wind is blowing across the prison towards the isolation cells. Eva, can you hear me? Joshua? Yes. Joshua, Al, he's... I know. Sorry. I heard everything. Martins will pay with his life. It's over, Joshua. Al is dead, and I'm stuck in here. Don't worry about me. Try and save yourself. Get out while you can. Relax. All is not lost, Eva. If we manage to get the professor out, they're screwed. He's exactly what we need to expose Genesis. I found something that I think might be some sort of code. But I can't get it to you from here. I can't risk losing it through the window. You can pass me the code through your cell door. It's no good. There's a guard right outside. Can't you deal with him? They've taken my gun. I have nothing to use. Face it, Joshua. I'm dead meat. I'll try and get something to you. As soon as I'm ready, I'll signal. Joshua, I implore you to get out while you can. They're sure to find you soon. The coat could do with a bit of a wash. A thermometer and some dental floss. Now they look like two balloons. Okay, done. Okay, done. Okay, done. Eva, can you hear me? Yes, Joshua. What is it? I've got something that might just work. It's a poisonous syringe. Inject the guard with it and the game's over. All you need to do is to get him close to the door panel. It's very risky. If I fail... Look, we have no other option and time is short. Don't worry. Just be ready to grab the wire that will pass your cell window. Okay, Joshua. Ready as I'll ever be. Guard! Guard! What's the problem, baby? Room service not up to scratch? Look, I've been thinking. I'll cooperate. I don't want to die. I've got the location of the Rebels base written here. Can you take it to Martin's before he decides my time is up? I think Martins was looking forward to interrogating you personally. Then you'll know what pain is. Look, please, help me. Martins might reward you, if you tell him that it was you who persuaded me to cooperate. Please, what have you got to lose? I'll do anything. Anything? Okay. Let me have a look at the note first. Then we'll discuss your forfeit. Ugh. What have you done? You'll find out soon enough, you gullible bastard! Uh, I can't! Joshua! I've done it! He's collapsed! I think he's dead! Cool. I'm coming in. Hurry! The others might have heard the commotion. No cell keys, but at least I'm tooled up again.
Eva, the code, at once. Here it is. It was in the governor's desk. Hmm. I've seen these symbols somewhere before. Whatever the code, it's not going to be easy to decipher it. Joshua! How the hell did you manage to get in here? The game's up, Hugh. You screwed me around once too often. You're crazy! What are you talking about? Cut that crap, Hugh. Innocents have been killed. The murdering stops here. I know all about VST. Jesus! I've invested a fortune in this. If it hadn't been for that idiot Moreau and his lack of balls, VST would be operational by now and I'd be a very rich man. You're insane, Martins. VST is flawed, and you know it. Look, Joshua. I know how this must seem to you, but you're wrong. What if I was to swing it so that you got a nice little slice yourself, huh? What about 20%? It's a considerably large cake, my friend. I'm not hungry. Jesus H. Christ, Joshua! I saved your life, remember? You can't do this to me! You owe me! Cut that crap, Hugh. That bird was drug running. It was the cargo that was important, not me. For all those years, your sick mind had a hold on me, but no more. The only thing I owe you, old friend, is a bullet. Look, Reeve, I I'll give you 30%. Well, 40 if you want. 30 or 40 is what they'll give you if you're a good boy. The game's up, Hugh. You can shove your blood money, Martins. Joshua, you did it! There's no time to lose. Go to the governor's office and use the communication system before it's too late. Martin's called for reinforcements, and it won't be long before this place is crawling with Genesis men. And as soon as we get the facts out in the open, they'll scatter like the cowards they are. Go. I'll get Moreau and join you. This is Katrina Lapointe with the news at 7. Just in, Union City Governor Hugh Martin was arrested earlier this morning following allegations of his involvement in an underground research project involving human experimentation. This project is alleged to have involved human fatalities. Martins is now in custody awaiting trial and an urgent inquiry into his company, Genesis, is now underway. We cross now to Rockus Perdita, where Martins is being held. Welcome to Rocas Perdita, where police are still searching for the man who is responsible for bringing Martens to justice. A man to whom much is owed. Maybe I'll call Eva when the dust has settled. But right now, I need some sleep. <laughs> <laughs>